Hello, Valder. Well, hi. Are these the two most handsome guys dealing with the tank? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank well, you. well, thank you. I watch you guys on TV all the time, and I'm so excited because you guys are family, and you get along, and you do good work. <laughs> Tell me about Tank. Okay. Well, Tank is awesome. You know it's Friday night. It's the season premiere with Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, it's going to be amazing. Uh, we got some amazing celebrities this season, along with some amazing regular aquariums. Uh, we got Pete Rose, uh, Mario Lopez for the Boys and Girls Club, uh, Wilma Valderrama, and uh, we got the Long Island Medium. Well, that is a stellar lineup now. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, I know why they gravitated towards you. I've seen your work, okay? What kind of work are you going to be doing for them? Well, uh, we're doing... Um but Mario Lopez, he's with the Boys and Girls Club, so we made an interactive one so the children can actually, it's kind of like a video game with a bike on it. When you pedal it, it puts oxygen in the aquarium, so it's educational. There's a computer on it that kind of runs the whole, you know, the system. It's science. It tells you about the quality of the water. So that's really interactive. And the one for Shaquille, oh, that's over the top. He's a big kid, and it was fun working with him, and um, we made a beautiful big diesel truck for him, which is incredible, right in his living room. That is awesome. I want to let my audience know that I'm talking to the brother-in-law, Wade King, and Brett Raymer. They're back in Tank, and they're doing more celebrities, bigger projects. Where are you guys getting these ideas from? Does it come from the people that you work for, or you have to bring it to the table for them? You know what? It it comes from both. Uh, It comes from our clients, and it also comes from our team of uh, designers as well. Uh, we try to collaborate, you know, with the client to make their dreams come true. Well, you guys are making dreams come true. What's the? And, and I know it's kind of hard, especially when you've got the the stellar celebrity. Tell me though, what what's the most satisfying project you guys have done? You know, we've built ten thousand aquariums worldwide, and me and Brett talked about this. The most satisfying ones are the ones that we do on the show. We ship so many tanks out that we never really saw the finished product. Now that we do the show, we're capable of seeing the tank finish with the client in front of it and their reactions. So those are our favorite. All right, Brett, tell me, what is it like working with Wade? Uh, it's, it's fine. I really don't work that much, so I let Wade do most of the work. So it's pretty good working with him when you got somebody that can take most of your workload. <laughs> 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 okay, that's working out for you? Oh, he's, it's he's, working out for me. He's loving life. <laughs> <laughs> How, uh, I'm going to ask you, Brett. How have you been able to make this family thing work? That's what I'm fascinated by. Well, you know what? Here's the greatest thing about working with your family. This is what I tell everybody. You never have to see them on the weekends on your days off. <laughs> see, that's so the you great- work that's- with them and you have a good excuse for not seeing them. Well, that's all right. I said, I said, Dad, my dad says, you know, son, you don't come over on the weekends. I'm like, Dad, I just saw you. It's Friday. I just saw you at work. I am I going to see you on Saturday for? <laughs> I like that. Tell me a little bit about what did the Long Island, uh, Long Island medium want? Because she can read your mind or she can tell you what's coming. She knew so before how did we you guys before please her? She knew before we designed it. Yeah, um, it, it was great working with her and her husband. Um, she wanted an aquarium inside her living room that she saw from her other family room. So we had a divider put in the middle. And the husband always dreamed of having a pond in the backyard. So we actually did a tank inside and a pond in the backyard. And the pond was incredible. It had floating rocks on it, had a waterfall, and the koi were beautiful. It was great working with them. They're always thinking that they're thinking that what's on your mind. It was pretty interesting. You guys have this PR machine going with the show now. How's your business itself? Will it sustain itself if the show ends today? Well, we've been in business for 20 years, and the show's only been around for four years. So we had a pretty good head start before the show. So we sustained it for the first 16 years. So I'm sure after the show, we'll be here for another 16 years. What can business people learn from you guys? Let me tell you guys, I watch Shark Tank, so I can really pick up something about business because I think my investment in TV needs to be quality. What can people learn from watching you on Animal Planet about business? All right, well, you know, being family business, it's it's definitely a little difficult. You have your ins and outs, and, you know, now with the show, we, we also have a product line. We have uh, tour buses that come to our factory. 
We have hats and shirts. So there's a lot of stuff that you can market and, and just do little spin-offs. And we're trying to do that and build the business and make our infrastructure a lot stronger. If the show ends tomorrow, we still want to have a stronger base that we can grow off of. And you know what? Family pulls together and we'll keep doing it and keep growing. You guys are two smart guys, and I don't care what nobody says. You guys are smart in what you do, but you're really smart in business. I've been watching you. You guys are really smart. But thank, thank you. you for being on the Valder BB Show and helping my audience. Maybe they picked up something for themselves because you guys provide great entertainment. Maybe they picked up some business tips today, too. So, Wade and Brett, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.